Having a narcissist in your life can be exhausting and emotionally taxing. They may be the center of your relationship, and their demands may make you feel judged and exhausted. That is why often, ignoring is the best advice one can give when dealing with a narcissist. But later, you will realize how wrong you were for ignoring the narcissist's advantages to you. You will just be left with just a shell of yourself if you let them continue their abuse. In dealing with the unstable narcissist, you must have a well-balanced and stable vision of what not to ignore. If you don't know anything about that, don't worry. I'm here to walk you through the five narcissistic tendencies one shouldn't disregard. Number one, high sense of self-entitlement. The narcissist's world is about being good or bad, superior or inferior, and right or wrong. For narcissists, if they do something, it has to be tied with the words very, best, and most. They will mostly feel ecstatic when their actions reach the point of their standards. Being at the top puts narcissists at ease. But will this tendency affect those that are beneath them? That is affirmative. Their self-entitlement often causes a narcissist to demean other people. Labels are vital to them. That is why their focus isn't as much on their inner core. Still, they put effort into their outward appearance, how they walk on their skin, and how other people would receive and perceive what they have shown. Narcissists will expect a lot from you if you let them get away when they ask you to do some favors. Ignoring this narcissistic tendency will enable the narcissists to do whatever they please to you. They want it all for themselves and believe everything is theirs by divine right. Narcissist self-entitlement is their first step in sourcing out victims. If you ignore their abuse and let them be, what do you think would happen? I think you just let them fire a gunshot towards you, even without a bulletproof vest. Number two, exploitation. Narcissist's motive in having relationships is to have a source of supply for them to feed on, a source they can keep coming back to for days. Narcissists also do not pick just anyone they can. Narcissists usually attack and choose those they see as handy. After all, narcissists tend to think that people who aren't as successful or brilliant as them don't deserve to be in their lives. So if you are competent and powerful, expect narcissists to have a tail on you. After all, we tend to chase the things we lack, and narcissists truly lack greatness. They will need others to fill in that lack and use them to their utmost desire. But how do narcissists choose their victims? The narcissist evaluates those around him based on their ability to provide him with a narcissistic supply or not. Those who fail this simple test do not exist in the eyes of the narcissist. Their emotions, needs, and fears are unimportant to them. These tendencies are called exploitation. Where narcissists use other people's identities, circumstances, and lives to gain the attention they need. A narcissist, for example, will help, console, guide, share grief, and encourage another hurting person only if that person is vital, powerful, and has access to other important or influential people. If you are experiencing this right now, what are you doing to stop the narcissists from using you? Ignoring their actions and opportunistic tendencies doesn't cut the job. They will only lie and manipulate their way around you with the people surrounding you. Don't let someone as vile as the narcissists use you as leverage or a stepping stool for their success. That's practically cheating the whole process when they take advantage of you. And don't you feel cheated when someone else owned up to the fruits of your hard work other than yourself? That's something you shouldn't ignore. Instead, your pride and glory are the things you should protect and fight for at all costs. Number three, gaslighting. Another strong narcissistic tendency that one should not ignore is gaslighting. If you aren't familiar with the term, narcissistic gaslighting is a type of emotional abuse in which the truth is intentionally manipulated or distorted to instill self-doubt in someone. 
Gaslighting is a type of narcissistic abuse in which a person starts to doubt their sanity and perception of reality. The narcissist's ultimate goal in gaslighting is to gain control over a person's thoughts, feelings, and actions. Narcissists usually create their sick version of reality where their victims get painted as the bad guy or the problematic ones. If you're asking why narcissists do these things, the answer is because narcissists want to preserve or protect their ego, keep others from challenging them, or maintain a sense of superiority over others. This tactic often elicits a wave of satisfaction from the narcissist, which causes them to get addicted to the thrill that gaslighting someone produces. Suppose you ignore the narcissist's gaslighting towards you. In that case, sooner than later, they will get into your brains and change how you view yourself without noticing it. Ignoring something tends to make you ignorant. It is better to stand guard to protect yourself from evil people like narcissists. Number 4. Lack of Empathy and Boundaries Narcissists never learn to identify with the feelings of others and never understand how to put themselves in their victim's shoes. As a result, narcissists can't differentiate whether or not what they're doing is offensive to you. Or worse, narcissists are aware of these morals but do not have any interest in following them. There are things you should be okay with and not be when it comes to narcissists breaching your personal space or bubble. When narcissists decide they want to devour you, they will go to any lengths just to have you. They may also resort to stalking you on social media platforms and even on your whereabouts. Ignoring these episodes can lead you to grave dangers. Narcissists tend to go rabid when you go against them and do not give them the supply they are used to having. If you must, file a restraining order against the narcissist to make them get away from you. And if they still go to you, even if the law already prohibits them, you're in deep trouble. I mean, can you still ignore these narcissistic tendencies when it's now compromising your safety? Number 5. Abuse of Power and Violence Once in a while, you might wonder if your spouse, coworker, or family member is a narcissist. While many people exhibit narcissistic tendencies such as self-importance and entitlement, people with narcissistic personality disorder can pose a more challenge. Based on the previous point I've made, narcissists can pose a threat to your safety. Their thirst for power heightens when you try to fight against them. But can you stay still when you know you're not anywhere near a safe situation? Feigning ignorance for this one will only fuel narcissists' desire to mull you over. In marriage, this is the part where narcissists lean to domestic violence just to exert power over their partner. When people with high narcissism get provoked, insulted, humiliated, shamed, criticized, or threatened by others, they're more likely to act aggressively. When your narcissist reaches the point of hurting you physically, Involving authorities can be your only way out, and I know doing this can take more courage than everyone else thinks. I commend you for your bravery. Dealing with narcissists might be easier when you just ignore them, but not doing anything about it will also put you in a tight spot. But there's never wrong with knowing your value and importance in your life. If you feel a hint of unfairness in your relationship with narcissists, I suggest you speak up and fight for your right. Did you find this video informative? Let us know in the comments below. Like this video and subscribe to this channel. It helps us a lot. Watch this next video over here.